Some of the things that we've actually got on the stand today, we would uh, normally find as pests in businesses and in uh, domestic premises. For example, we've got the yellow mealworm beetle, or we've got the, the, the larvae of the yellow mealworm beetle uh, actually in there. It's, it's been barbecued, so it's barbecue flavour. Obviously, it's been cultured, especially we've not just pulled these out of people's houses. Also got in there the uh, the house cricket, the domestic house cricket, the Kita domestica, which uh, we've got there as salt and vinegar flavour today. Again, cultured properly and not just dried out of people's kitchens. I don't know, it's the, it's the mental thing. Pigeon venison, bacon, season, like certain buns, and pressure off it. Good. Some are salty, some are sweet. You know, you've got the chocolate cup at the hands over there. But uh, yeah, it's good, it's terrific. Oh, this looks, well, the sweet stuff looks normal. I mean, you wouldn't tell, you wouldn't be able to tell what it is if you just look at it from outside and if no one tells you what it is. Um, but the other stuff, I don't know. I, I'm not sure if everyone will take it. I did try it. Um, it tastes pretty yummy, I think. Um, the scorpion was interesting. It was crunchy. Um, it didn't taste how I thought it would taste. It was actually quite, quite, quite nice. So. Simple, yeah, and I haven't really had to add any ingredients to it, no seasonings or anything like that. Just the bacon alone adds the saltiness to, to the pigeon as well as to the venison, so just, yeah, just some natural juices really, it's just all it is. Just keep it simple, just the sauces that people use themselves. One of the uh, most effective ways of combating uh, food shortages. Uh, actually, surprisingly, 